Okay, we start our uh, our last training today with recitation of Umur Kitab Al-Fatihah. Okay, so this is our last training uh, for Masum 2021. So we go straight to the uh, straight to the what we call uh, to the training itself. Let me change this thing to this uh, what we call this thing. Okay, this view. Okay. So today, because your your games in uh, what we call in Masum will be 10 minutes, I think it's more important for me to train your tactic lah. Train your tactic. Okay, so this, uh, I will give you the pulls here. Uh, let me check here. Okay. So uh, you will see the pool is on now. Can you see the pool? Everybody, can you see? Yes. Okay. So this is only for one minute only. Okay. Because this is easy. This is very easy. It's not about this. I don't want to what we call this is not really the question lah. The question, the real question is after this. This is just to warm up only. So give me that's the question. How white can finish off this uh, uh, as a black? So the question is how white can finish off blacks? Meaning that. You need to find the, uh, the the move until checkmate lah. Okay. So as usual, so as usual, you need to what we call to put your name and uh, then uh, the move. Okay. So I give the time, the timer. So I will put the timer here just one minute. Let me check the timer. Let me make the timer first. How to make the timer? I forgot. So let me put just only one minute. So let me open the timer, source and then timer. So you can see the timer there, there right? So I give only one minute. Huh? Let me change this to one minute because this is easy. Eh? One minute. Safe. For those who are, I mean, brothers, maybe this is just very easy. lah. But just I want to see whether sister can uh, solve it or not. Okay, one minute from now, solve this thing. So maybe I can end the pool. Eh? I can end now. One, two, three. I end the pool. Okay. So next, I want to show the result. Eh? I want to show the result. Okay. View more answer. Okay. So this, I will show you the share the result. So this goes away. Go away. So you can see now. You can see the result, right? So Aisyah Nuri Sarah Ujai, di siapa ni? QEC ni siapa? Letak nama eh. QEC ni siapa ni? Uh, saya siapa ni? Lupa nak. Ya Jo Jo Jo. Jo, okay. This Jo. So Izah uh, Nadrah, okay. Uh, this one, the first one here. Hani. Hani, okay. So next time uh, put name ah uh, supaya easy ah. Uh. So you I want to see until the end eh? so as I can see uh, Amin can go until the end uh, Hani also can go not yet not until the end so I see here we did that the end lah checkmate lah and F7 and eh, this also checkmate ni checkmate like this ah eh? Hani this is double check ni tapi tak kisah lah so Hani also get checkmate uh, Doktor saya ada salah type okay. dia saya guna phone so dia bila saya nak pull tu dia ni saya saya di salah petak letak tu tengok ada pening-pening sikit siapa Jo eh ni Jo eh uh, uh, ada sepatutnya KGA saya pergi tulis KH7 padahal tak boleh gerak pun KH7 tu so uh, itu. mana Jo saya tak tahu masa tu atas ni ke bawah atas bawah yang bawah yang, yang bawah yang bawah ok uh, tapi you, da you, you dapat idea uh, lah uh, basically sama dengan Amin lah sepatutnya ok so at least uh, dapat idea it's ok lah Ujai uh, KH8 and I7 Uh, Ujai, apa cerita ni? QE6, QF8, uh, QF7. Saya tak habis tulis. Tak habis tapi, tulis. Uh, 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 tapi tak payah semua ada lah. Saya dapat. Tapi uh, saya rasa Ujai dapat lah. Sebab ini sebab masalah kena tulis. Sarah QE6. Uh, QE6 ni tak habis ni. Sarah, at least kalau tak habis tulis. Uh, at least if you not uh, finish the, to to write. Then you need to what we call uh, to give just Uh, in writing lah uh, what actually the idea behind the thing Nuril uh, can finish uh, Aisyah uh, just halfway lah Queen E6 and then NF7 so this is uh, that's 
here is you see right the, the difficulty to write the the notation even though you know uh, looking even though during this our coming masum you are basically what we call you are basically will uh, let me put my face here lah it's easy okay so during this coming masum you know it's online only so you don't really need to write but at least later on in the future uh, you need to know also how to write very fast so as i can see here Uh, King G6 King G8 King G6 Saya pun tak faham apa ni Saya Saya tersilap Q E6 Apa ni Macam mana Q E6 Q E6 K H A Q E6 K H A Q E6 K E6 K H A Lepas tu N F7 N F7 And then Lepas tu K G8 tu Lepas tu Lepas tu Oh kejap Yang tu Saya tersilap Yang N G6 G6 ha, Saya pun tak tahu macam mana N ni boleh pergi dekat G Haa uh, <laughs> Tak apa So 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 basically uh, If I show that So you can see that thing lah In front of that uh, Mana dia punya tadi We detail ni Saya pun dah hilang Ni susah masalah ni Okay So as you as I can see here You can see that They are what we call Some of you can go until the end Because maybe Maybe they have uh, I mean, not maybe, maybe that most of you already see this thing because this one of the most popular, what we call, one yeah. of the most popular uh, puzzle lah. Uh, we call it smooth, smoother map. My intention is not to teach you about this puzzle because everybody know this thing. No real, you have seen this thing before. So it's like nothing for you. The real thing is after this and the puzzle after this. That is the real test. This just to give the idea for those who are new. So let's see about this puzzle first. Huh? Let's see about, about this puzzle first. And let me uh, remove this thing first. Let me remove the timer first. Okay. So this puzzle uh, is basically, uh, they call it smooth, smooth red map. Okay. So the way how to, uh, to, uh, to win this thing is just simply just, you just go there, check. So uh, most of you know how to do this, check. And then the only way the king can go is this either there and here here is checkmate lah so this uh, you just go checkmate so this no use lah the real challenge is that when the king goes to the side so when you try to play a game you cannot just uh, for example for those new one eh, you cannot just go here and then uh, allow uh, what to checkmate here because that is just nonsense lah because it's just give no no uh, no what we call no what we call no refutation to what we call to white play so the 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 most stubborn defense is go here so here white need to show how it can win lah so basically check so this that all this is false so here for nadra and so on you said this knight go, suddenly go to g6 this g6 right so this is not uh not i mean it's illogical lah so the, the way is just go to ns6 like that check So here again, if king go here, check mat, and then king need to go here lah. So this is where uh, the thing come lah, because you can for white, white can uh, get the draw just check, go here, check, go here. So for Nadra, Iza, and Aisha, if you don't see, let's say you play later on, you play this uh, this Thursday, you don't see the continuation, just go to draw lah. If let's say the time is very very Let's say you have only 2 second or 3 second and you cannot think. Better you go to draw than to try to think how to win. Because if there are time taking down and now you don't have increment, it's much better you go for draw than you lose on time. So you can just draw, draw, go and draw like this lah. Okay. But if let's say you have more time, then you need to find the ways. Nadra, macam mana nak menang ni? Eh? One move. <coughs> Because check, check kan? Pergi sini. And then a knight check again. Go here. So Nadra, how to win? Nadra, are you here or not? We are the one who win with keyboard ni. Yes, doctor. Okay, macam mana nak win? How to win? For, for the rest, like, uh, for the brothers, um, This, maybe you see, maybe you think that uh, this is nothing lah. This is just very easy. Because you have seen this before. That's why chess is about pattern recognition. The more you see, the more you do puzzle, the easier it become. 
But for maybe for Nadra, this may be the first time. Nadra, is this the first time you see this thing? Uh, huh? Yes. Okay. For those who are first time, it's difficult for them because the 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 pattern is not there yet, uh, in their mind. So, something that is easy for you, for example, easy for Nuril, easy for Hani, easy for Joe, easy for Hujai, not necessarily easy at the first time you see this. Okay, when you see this at the first time, you also will thought, "Wow!" But for Nadra, this is the first time for Nadra. Okay, so Nadra. What the move? Give me one move. QG8. Sorry? QG8. QG8 ni. Ni. Tak sini. Saya rasa dia makan buat NF7. Okay. So this check mat lah. So basically this is the idea of small trade mat lah. So those who are new uh, please uh, check again this thing. Okay. So but this is the foundation eh? foundation of small third mat we call it small third mat meaning that the king is entrapped by its own piece like in this case the the ni lah, this thing and this thing so the king is basically entrapped in between so this is not difficult this is not difficult uh, so now i want to give you uh, another question another question this one okay so now this is what happened in practical in real life Okay, so now, now I give you, uh, let's say five minutes. Okay, five minutes, ah, huh? not not uh, more than that. Five minutes, solve this thing. So I give the pool. Okay, let's say I give pool. Where is the pool? Macam mana? Ini sepatutnya lupa dah ni. Uh, okay, launch. So can you see the pool? Can you see the pool? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So solve that thing. So this only five minutes. Ah, I give you five minutes only. So let me open the timer so that uh, at least you can have because in in chess later on you will play with the time also. So it's better to have this what we call uh, the, the 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 time the, the the clock ticking. So do it in in five minutes. Solve this. Okay, those of you know how to solve it previously. See whether you can solve it or not this time. The question, solve this in five minutes by writing. Eh? Make sure you write your name first eh? and then move. Let's see whether this time you can solve it or not. While you do that, let me eat. Eh? Lapar. Lepas ini pun tak makan lagi, tak? So, you solve eh? The idea is more or less the same. You see, they are knight, they are queen. Uh, normally, uh, while you doing this thing, let me uh, talk. Uh. When you see the, when you see they are queen and knight, you more often than not they will be tactic. Typically, queen and knight, when they are near with the <coughs> opponent side, typically they are some tactic lah. Okay, bishop and queen. It's easy to see, but queen and knight normally most of people doesn't see it. <coughs> okay, so please solve this thing. White to move. How white can win? Okay, this is a real position in the real game lah. Previously, it's just a setup, so you see it very easy, very clear. Now this is what happened in real game. You have all the piece around and so on. So how to win? White to move. And try to win and also try to uh, make some variation lah for example if let's say king move here how how the reason why i ask you to write is that at least you do the thing okay if i ask you just to talk then it's not necessary you will do the, th the stuff so try to write and try to come up how to win this thing okay be more answer So you can see eh, the thing. And B5. Uh, so Sarah, let me put here. What Sarah did is that Sarah go and B5. Uh, king B8. And B5, king B8. And then queen D6. And then rook C7. Queen that. Okay. So let me. Uh, because I put this, it will close. 
So let me put here. Okay, it's okay lah. It's because it will close. So that's why I want. I don't want that. Okay. Um, few details. Okay. So let me put here first. Okay. Let's see Sarah. Sarah try. Uh, this let me close this thing. Timer. Close. Okay. Sarah did like this. And this Sarah, this Sarah, uh, what Sarah did is that Sarah move the knight here, and then king b8, king b8, and then queen d6, and then like this, and then makan. Okay, the the question how, the question now, why then the, what we call the, the root go to here? That's one question. So, the root, why, kenapa, uh, is sacrificed himself without nothing, because he just take lah. Okay, uh, so that's one thing. When you try to do this thing, to try to do the puzzle like this, uh, you need to think the most stubborn defense. The most stubborn defense here is simply go here lah. Right, uh, go here. And then, if let's say uh, what we call uh, NC7, then it's okay lah. Because uh, Sarah did like this. Uh, and root C7. So go here and then check and then if let's say you go if you eat then only then you can get this lah checkmate whatever that thing. So if you go here and then uh, you can and a6 and then you can do this uh, smooth checkmate lah. So that's normal lah. So nb5 uh, so nb5 can be 8 <coughs> okay so this is Nuril lah. Um, Nuril is nd5 also. King b8 and then queen e5. Okay, queen e5 like this. Okay. When you do like this, this is uh when you do like this, the problem when you eat like this, Nuril, you don't have you don't have something like what we call this doesn't be attack. The difference between before, if you check here, at least you attack this. You try to maintain the attacking position uh, so that if let's say the king goes here they cannot eat kalau eat dapat makan kalau you makan sini tak dapat buat apa lah draw lah so that's the the, the idea lah ok that's one thing so let's see Amin lah eh. Amin uh, NB5 ok NB5 uh, King B8 Queen D6 and then King A8 and NC7 ok so this is ok this ok this is correct ok the question now that's not difficult part the difficult part is that what happened if the king go here? Okay, so I mean, let's see. Uh, queen d6, king a8. Okay, most of you, they do, most of you, they, they go for here, king b8. Okay, king b8. But king b8, as you can see, you can just check here and then if you go here, easy lah. But what, what about if the king goes here? You need to think also when the king goes to other side. So let's see, is there any uh, players choose this thing? King the uh, king e8. Okay, so this king and b5, king d8, queen d6. Okay, so this ujang eh? uh, king the uh, king d8, and then ujai goes to king d6. Okay, king d6, and then uh, and then king e8. Okay, king e8. And then here, what Ujai play? Ujai play nc7. nc7. Which is uh, nc7 and then king f7. And then go checkmate. The problem now, boleh je makan. Makan. And then you can eat. Uh, Oh, makan je lah. Makan and then you go here. So at least uh, black doesn't what we call doesn't really have because remember you see black have what? Black have extra knight here. You can ingat. Black have extra thing because when you you see eh, the position the initial position the black is winning because black have what? Extra. Extra rook. That's the different. So, black can, can what we call, can sort of like go here and then go here. Just take lah. Still, the, the black is 
uh, have extra rook, uh, extra knight here. If you eat, and here black is winning. Because now they are no knight and then they are no attacking because uh, white cannot checkmate just only with the queen. So that's also you need to think. Eh? Uh, you don't always think that, for example like this, uh, check, uh, check like this. Don't always expect your opponent will go easily like this. Of course, this is checkmate lah. But you need to play to think what is the most, uh, what we call the most uh, stubborn defense lah. Okay, so that is wrong lah. That is wrong. Uh, Izzah and B5 can be 8. Izzah, Izzah play and B5. King B8 and same like Nuril, Izzah play like this. This draw lah. Because you, you because for example, if you go here, and then if you check like this, makan je lah. Even though you eat like this, you see, they are extra knight, still extra knight. So it's still winning. So that's the thing. That's the difference between you eat the pound here or not. Okay. It seems like you eat this, you get a material. But in this case, when you are attacking, the material is important, but then to maintain the attack is far more important. So that's why here is far more important. Because it's maintain the attack on the rook here. So that's another thing. So let's see honey. Honey, what honey play? Honey uh, play and b5. And then uh, king b8, uh, same thing. And then queen d6, queen a8. So honey got this lah. But, uh, uh, and honey got thing. And then king b8. And then and a6, whatever. Six, and then king a8. Uh, so honey got this. But still, honey only, uh, what we call? Uh, only consider this move. Okay. But doesn't consider this move. The more hardest, the hard part is this move. It's not this move. This move, when you play like this, typically, uh, players, they have this uh, small third mat in mind. So when, more often than not, player will not go here. Because they know that this thing, or they have sort of like, sort of like trick lah, a sort of like puzzle-like thing. They have seen this before, or they are small third mat. So you need to think more about what if the king goes here. So let's see uh, the others. Oh, Aisha also goes only just discuss only this. Nadra also. Uh, Nadra goes to king d8. Okay. And then queen d6. And then uh, king e8. And then and c7. So Nadra until here. They stop until here. Check. And I, I see before this same like Ujai as I said before. Just take lah. Makan je lah kan. Okay. So now. We know the the answer for this. Eh? We know the answer for this. We know the answer for this because the idea of the smothered mat like we learned before. You go here and then you do all the stuff lah. You maintain the attack to the uh, to the rook. The real question is that how to exploit if for example go to the d8. This is the real question lah. Okay. The answer is this. Queen d6, king e8. Okay, now what to do? Most of you do this knight f7. In this case, the the what we call, if you go to queen e6, eh, let's say now, what you have to do? We know this is wrong because you just eat. Winning lah, black is winning. So let's see this first. Queen e6. So this, you can draw lah. Go here, repeating, go nowhere lah. It's just repeating lah. No waste. So coming back here. So here, this is where you need to capture this thing. Because remember, there are rooks still here. This pawn sort of like block the rook thing. When you are playing before, for example, when you are playing this position, when you go to king b8 like this, you don't take this. Because you want to maintain the attack to the, uh, you want to maintain uh, what we call the attack to the rook. But in this case, when the king goes to the middle, you want to open the file. That's a different idea because now you want to open the file. Imagine now the are no pawn here. This pawn is not there. Imagine the pawn is not there. Then checkmate lah. You can just go rook here. So that's why, that's why different position, even though they are just a small thing, it can change everything lah. So here you, you take lah. You take 
and then if you go here uh if you go to d5 let's say you go here then the purpose of taking the pound here uh manifest lah take and check mat lah and you can just attack whatever lah you can check mat lah because this then you go here check mat lah so that is the idea of that thing uh so now let's say now uh if you take if you take here and then king go to uh what we call king f7 okay so here you take and d6 because remember you you cannot sacrifice the 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 knights like before like ujai and nandrah did because remember uh black have extra thing so when playing this thing you don't sacrifice anything lah okay and this thing and then kg8 and then now you can repeat this thing now you have small third mat again king h8 and f7 and you can see here they maintain the attack to the uh bishop and then king g8 and h6 and then do and all the stuff lah so as you can see the what we call whatever you see before the thing this thing what you see before is just the basis of the spotted bed what you see this here is basically the makeup position this you don't see in game okay because this is the makeup position only what you see in the game is more or less like this this is what you see in the game Okay, when you see the game, there are a lot of things uh, happening and so on. So the best practice is that you try to practice position that have the same team as like uh, what uh, the the simple uh, tactic, but use a real position lah. Because now you see the nuance of taking this, whether you want to take this or not. Uh, at some position, if the king goes here, then you don't take the pawn. If the king goes go to the side, you take the pawn. Okay. So basically, uh, this is a typical tactic lah. Not typical tactic meaning that the way how you need to understand that every position require different uh, treatment. Okay. So that's basically uh, the 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 ni lah. Um. I just go uh, very fast. Uh, this and this uh, we we just do very fast. I want just to see this one game. Uh, this very fast only. Not 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 uh, detail lah. Okay, so this is basically uh, the game uh, played by Mew. Eh? Played by Mew uh, in two thousand. Uh, what you call in two thousand twenty? Masum. Okay, so you can see the idea of game played by your friend in real masum this is where the physical masum lah so i just go through fast and then i just give you the idea lah uh, tell you the idea what happening in this game so mio is white and this utm is black okay so you can see mio this is sicilian whatever blah 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 here okay so whenever you see something like this something like this this we call it grip okay they try to grip the center it, it has a lot of grip in the center it try to what we call reinforce for example this you know this pound is already reinforced this uh, position but when you double the thing you 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 sort of like say to your opponent okay this is my my territory not territory this is you cannot go forward because i have this grip on this d4 so that's why uh, this e5 lah um, it doesn't mean this better but the idea only the the reason why uh, black play d5 uh, e5 is only is to prevent black to do something to push something forward okay f4 so this uh, just go straight blah 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 and then this thing okay now mio play so now um uh, mio have the option to play this thing or knight to c3 normally in the game you have this dilemma where this knight goes c3 or d2 typically the knight is best go to the c3 because the c3 is more advanced than the d2 and also when the knight is on the c3 is cover the center point okay but on d2 also they have their own uh, benefit because the on d2 it can go to what we call to this area this is where it can help the king shelter the king so depending what you want to do, whether you want to uh, shelter the king or you want to control the center. So choose which one. So in this case, 
Okay, in this case, in this case, the best move here is to play knight c3. Mio play and d2. Okay, the reason why this move is important because this move uh, prevent this prevent this pawn from being pushed forward. <coughs> if you look at this position, uh, if you look at this position, the problem in black position is this pawn. Okay, this pawn make this bishop back. <coughs> so the aim for black is to push this pawn. To push this pawn. When the black, if black can push this pawn forward, then uh, most of the black problem evaporate lah. It can have easy play. <coughs> the and this square, so this square, this square, a lot of color lah. Let me remove all the color. Uh, how to remove the color? Let me remove the color. Okay, the square in the red there, in the middle there, is basically the key square of this game. Uh, let me remove the color first. Okay. This is key square. If black can push forward, normally in game, let's say you are playing black or white. If let's say you found that yourself is very, what we call, uh, sesak nafas, very suffocated. Normally what you will do is to sort of like push forward the pound so that your other stuff can breathe like this. This sesak ni, sesak nafas. The suffocated. So the only way in order to what we call uh, not only this eh, even the queen also sesak nafas. Sebab apa? Because the queen is just restricted because the the queen the power is only until here only. Imagine this pawn is not there. Imagine this pawn uh, imagine this pawn uh, is not there. It much better for black because the queen have a more 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 what I call more area more more place to go and so on. So this part is basically uh, is what black intend to push. So white need to do anything that it can to prevent this push. So the best, that's why normally when you play NC3, it prevent any central break. Okay. Okay, so ND2. ND2. And then this is what uh, Mio play, ND2. So here, uh, black play ND, and what you call, and h5 uh when if black play this is much better lah because now it solve the problem okay remove all the black problem if takes then it just easy lah i mean it's not like winning but then uh the black play is easy lah because now they are no like a uh, suffocated feeling for the black okay because everything is open so more or less uh, easy for black lah uh, if let's say uh, the white push, then it just goes that, and then you can take lah because these there are two two thing attack this thing. So that that's why whenever your opponent play something that allow you to push, then you need to push lah. Uh, uh, that doesn't prevent you from pushing the thing, then push lah. Okay. If this, of course, you cannot push yet because it's control the thing. But now you can push lah. But in this game, uh, black play this thing, uh, and then uh, bishop e3, and then bishop e6, uh, and then nf3, and then only then push. Okay, and uh, lambat sikit lah, lambat sikit. And then take, take, okay. So, you can see now the, the benefit of pushing the, the pound. Okay, normally when you play in the middle game, uh, the, the, the question is whether to push the pound or not to push the pound. So, you see whether that pushing the pound uh normally pushing the pound is uh beneficial if you are suffocated for example like this you now the black is have what we call free game lah more or less free the effect of uh allowing the central black as uh, we call it central break lah central break the effect of that now you can see the black uh position is much uh not nicer but at least better than before lah and then nc3 and then nf6 whatever and then bishop g5 okay better here is just take lah because when you take uh you have what we call uh the double uh pound lah, the, the the double bishop here black play this thing okay but uh better here is take lah uh here okay here white the better move is just take and then take and you want to take this thing and then you go here okay 
So here, coming back from here, eh? okay, black goes here, and then in the game, white uh, white play this, Mio play this, bishop g5. But as I said, the better move is to take. Okay, better move is to take. Why? Because at least you get double bishop, but taking or not taking is one thing. But what is the plan? For example, now, taking here, taking here, going back. So at least now, uh, black, uh, white have this double bishop. Having a double bishop normally advantage. But then, if you don't know how to use this advantage, it's no use lah. For example, now, after down, what is black plan? Okay. What, eh, what is white plan? Uh, white have double bishop. But then how white can utilize this advantage of double bishop? So what is the plan? That's far more important. When you play the game, you need to have plan in mind lah. For example, now, you need to ask yourself, for if you are white, how white will continue further? What is the plan for white? You need to ask lah because this bishop also cannot really move, uh, really freely move. So what is white plan in this position? Because I don't want to uh, waste time uh, doing the pull again. So I think I just give the answer. So in this case, you can see eh, the bishop only good if they are free. Okay, they are free. So you need to understand how you want to make sure the bishop is free. But at the same time, the knight also better lah. So one of the plan is that you are going to nd2 and then later on you take a4 and then nc4 because when you are doing nd because now without the because now you can see uh, white a uh, black doesn't have white square bishop it ha only have black square bishop so now meaning that the light square of the white uh, of the black is very weak for example here you can put something here Okay, because there are no uh, light square bishop to attack this thing. If you can put the knight here, that's better lah. But if I put the knight here, then I need to recon with this uh this attack, the attack, I mean that this pawn push. So that's why the ideal is that you want to put knight here, but at the same time, you prevent this black pushing the pawn on the b5. So that's why, the idea is to go to nd2 and then push a4 and then nc4. When you have this position, this knight, we call it found the outpost. More or less like outpost. Lah. It's not really true outpost because this uh, can do and it uh, somehow can steal the upon here. But at least it takes time for black to dislodge this knight away. And the knight here is quite strong because you see it emanated, uh, it emanated uh, the, the power in the center of the board and when the knight doesn't hinder the bishop here you can see the bishop also have free what we call free flow so compare to this po position to this position from here to that po from here to this position you need to think because normally people can play until here but then what to do after that that is the more difficult answer difficult thing to to, to answer lah what is the plan you can play uh, reaction, action, reaction, action, reaction. But in order to be strong in chess, you need to come up with plan. For example, like this. The knight attack the bishop. Bishop get away. Bishop save himself. That is action, reaction. For example, the knight take action. Attack the bishop. Okay. Bishop goes back. So that is action and reaction. If your chess play is more or less like this, then you cannot improve much. You need to sort of come up with a plan. Example of plan this lah. For example, from this, there are no action reaction. What will what 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 white should play? So you need to come up with sort of like schematic in your mind. Okay, I want to. What is the advantage of having double bishop? What uh, black doesn't have? Black doesn't have white square bishop. So white square of black here. White square is weak. Because it doesn't have white square bishop. So I want to utilize this. Because I have uh, what we call the white square bishop myself. So in order to do that, I need to attack the white square. So the white square that seems good is here. Is here and here. But if I go here, if I go uh, on this part, on this here, on, on this on e5 instead of on uh, c5. Then I sort of like block my 
my my what we call my file because I have only one open file. So the better place for the night is here because here the, the black can also what we call attack with the pound here. So the better place for the light square uh, the the what the light square is here for night. But if I put the knight here, then I need to also thinking that black might push the pawn on b5 and dislodge this knight. I don't want that. So that's why coming the, 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 the what you call the, this a4. So that's how you plan the, what you call plan the, come up with the plan. You need to see what you have that your opponent doesn't have. In this case, your opponent doesn't have white square bishop. So the aim is to control the white square, to go to the white square. Okay. So that is the the, the the idea lah, the thing. Okay, so that's why you go to the white square. Okay, uh, in the game, in the game, uh, black uh, white uh, play like this, bishop g5, and then we go straight, we go, we go like this, and just go, blah, 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 okay, so you can see now, until this position, eh, you can see somehow resemble the smaller map. You have the queen attacking the uh, the king, and also now this knight somehow can go there. Okay, somehow the this is where the the knowledge of tactic help you. <coughs> if you know nothing about smarter mat, the one that we learned before, then it's difficult for you to come up with the idea related to that. At least now, if you have the idea of smarter mat, you sort of like what we call get some idea this is possible huh? maybe it's not working but you get the idea okay it's possible that's the reason why you study the uh, you do the puzzle and so on it's not like you want to test how fast you can finish the puzzle and so on it's basically you want to to sort of like store a lot of uh, pattern in your mind so that uh, when you are in the game even though the pattern is not exact you can sort of like use the sm the 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 this uh, you can sort of like try uh use the pattern in the similar manner lah for example this thing even though it might not be have a uh, uh, what we call the the smaller mat but at least from if black uh doesn't uh if white doesn't careful then the knight can jump here and go here and do the uh, smaller and what so on lah so i will not go uh, further because now it's already uh, near 10 uh, as I said, today is anti-10 only, so we not go uh, further. Eh? So just, uh, of course, it's uh, more is further lah. It's what to do after this and so on. But I just to show you today what you will learn today is basically uh, how the tactic that you learn can help you in real game. You don't study tactic because you expect that tactic exactly the same position, same situation occurs in your game. It's very rare, okay? Because in your real game, there are many pieces uh, here and there. So, the exact tactic might not work very well. But the knowledge about that tactic might help you to speed up your calculation to what we call, to give you the idea how to continue and so on. Okay? So, today, uh, just recap, what we learned is that we learned about the small map. The basic tactic and then we learn also about how this basic tactic let me show you uh, how this uh, basic tactic goes into something more complicated like this same idea but more complicated and also how this tactic when you see the mule game how this tactic can sort of like creep into your game like this mule game suddenly they are sort of like a kind of smarter map in the in the in view but maybe not 100% smarter mat but you can do it lah uh, but i i don't want to go in detail uh, further down but at least i just want to show you how from your game you can benefit from uh, tactic study because you are playing now we are at the end so let me open this thing uh, let me open this thing uh, let me open this thing because now you are basically uh, playing bliss for masum you are not playing long game 10 minute for me is bliss lah more or less like bliss lah and they are not increment so typically when this situation when you are they are not increment short time control 
most of the mistake happen because of that thing. Okay, uh, of course, uh, they are. If let's say you are good and then your opponent is good, normally it's positional and so on. But typically, when the when the time is low, most lose or win happen because of that thing. So always careful. Uh, jangan kasih uh, free free piece. Uh, so terutamanya yang baru-baru ni, uh, don't give free free piece and so on. But don't think too long. Because it's 10 minutes only. Um, and also at the same time, don't think too fast. Because I remember uh, last uh, Masum, they are, uh, what you call? They are person who are think too fast. They, they try to move too fast. But the time control is 15. So you don't, remember eh, when you play so fast, it doesn't really affect your opponent. Your opponent doesn't feel anything because, yeah, fine. Unless uh, you are at top level, then uh, that they have some psychology thing. Lah. But at this level, if you try to play fast, thinking that your opponent get uh, apa tu? intimidated by you, no, it doesn't work. Lah. It's better you play a little bit slow, but correct. Rather than you play fast, but make mistake. Okay. Uh, okay, I think that's it for today. Make sure 23 uh, March, uh, uh, this Wednesday, Please Ricky di tempat, uh, please check di tempat and also Nadra uh, and also Nadra, Izzah and Faiz. Uh, hopefully you can come. Please uh, talk uh, to uh, Izzat, uh, the condition of the room and please check the room one day before the game. On Thursday, you come early, uh, maybe at 9, maybe you can breakfast together lah. Uh, maybe Ujai can be like a leader there because Ujai is from ICT. So Ujai know where is the best to eat the the, uh, the breakfast. So maybe you breakfast together and then you play together for two days only. Don't worry, it's just one and a half days only. And then you're done. Okay, so that because of that, do your best. Hopefully, uh, we can get the what we call the, the, the podium this time. Our aim is podium. Eh? Last year, for the male, we got number four. The difference is only half, not even half. Meaning that the same point, but uh, personal encounter, I think, uh, is a uh, thing. So, what to do? For sister, uh, the difference is one point between the podium. So, hopefully, this time, uh, both of us, both of brothers and sister, can can get podium lah. Okay, semua. Okay, yeah. Okay. Tidur lah semua. Okay. Okay. Eh? InsyaAllah. Hmm. For example, Nuril, this is your last. Okay. Ha? Huh? Nuril is maybe, maybe eh? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe this is your last uh, masuk. Uh, siapa lagi last? Uh, Hani. Ah, ni awak lagi. Ha, Nuril lah. Nuril and Mio. Nuril Sukip target tu kata. Ha, Sukip. Saya kata masuk. Sukip tu lah. Eh, jangan. Nuri nak grad. <laughs> so, uh, it depends lah macam mana Nuri. Tapi, uh, Masum, kalau katalah uh, you try to grad this time, then this might be your last lah. Um, so, you do your best lah. Maybe, Nuri, you can try to target the best bot for, uh, not best bot, individual lah. Try lah get gangster ke, uh, bronze ke, silver ke, tak pun gold ke. Okay. 10 minit tu sikit sangat. Ha, itulah 10 minit ni masalah. So sister, please careful lah 10 minit ni sikit tau. You, saya akan, jangan kalah masa lah. Jangan kalah masa. Uh, sedih lah kalah masa. Tapi lagi sedih kalau uh, internet disconnected. Ha, tu lagi sedih. Okay. So it's okay this like what we call uh, experience for you. Uh, you this the, you are the Mustang so of course, this you play this tournament, Masum 2022, is not just for gain experience. You want to perform, eh? like uh, brother, uh, brother Lutfi said, you come here not to gain ex exposure anymore. You want to perform. Okay, hopefully all of you have the, what we call, luckily all of you have some some idea lah. Sebab uh, you play, all of you play in Masum Open. So at least most of you have the idea how it look like. So... Look back at the video, the one that 
I post for Masum Open, get the feel and then play lah. So I think that's it for today. Um, we end our apa? We end our training because this is basically the last training with recitation of Tasbih Kafaroh and Suratul As.